Alrighty, so it's time to install the uh, newly rebuilt shocks. You can see I've got the, the right hand shock already installed, so I'm going to go ahead and install the left hand shock. One of the things that uh, makes this easier is if you take a flat bladed screwdriver, I'm just going to rest my shock here, the fork. Take a flat bladed screwdriver and a nice thick washer um, and basically you want to pry the triple tree apart just a little bit on the top and the bottom here and just insert a washer and what that will do is separate this enough to loosen it up so that it, the, uh, the fork leg will slide up nice and easily um, and it won't scratch up the nice uh, metal work powder coated finish. So what I'm going to do is put my screwdriver in and just open it up just enough to put that washer in and hold it. And I'm going to do the same at the top here. So I think you can see here, there you go, that's the washer in place. Just to, and It's just opened up the top and opened up, there's the top one with the washer in just holding it apart a little more than it would even with the the bolts out uh, it's just opened that hole up enough so that it should slide up a lot easier next you just want to gently ever so carefully insert and slide up doing your absolute best not to scratch anything, which is not easy to be honest. All right, so that's the uh left side fork in using a little pry bar here just to gently keep that apart um, you see I've got a couple of washers in here to hold this apart so it's nice and easy get slide it in and out and there the forks in so uh, next thing I want to do is check that my uh, replacement axle bolt goes in so I've got uh, the original one was bent um, so what I want to do is hold everything steady and then just slide this bad boy in and there's going to be a spacer once the wheel is on there. Yep, that looks good. So yeah, that's where my, there's the axle bolt through. So new axle. Uh, space is going to go here and then nut on the end to secure everything. So and I'm going to grease this up with some uh, axle lube. Put the uh, retaining bolt on. 
and start pinching that tight, bringing everything together. Lovely. Front wheel is on. Front forks are in. Of course, they have to be in with the front wheel on. Everything is on and straight. And the wheel spins smoothly. You've got to love that. So, next thing to do is to reattach my front Brembo brake caliper and the ABS line. Torque up the bolts for the triple tree top and bottom torque up the pinch bolts on the lower fork lugs here and then torque the nut here which means holding that with a pry bar and then tightening that up here to the correct torque specs so we're going to torque everything down, get everything set to the factory specs, which is in your owner's manual or mom. Go ask mom. Motorcycle owner's manual. Gotta love that. Oh my word, we're ready for the front fender and then the fork guards and oh my, oh my, oh my. I might be able to take this bad boy out for a ride pretty soon. So exciting. I'm excited. I'm probably the only one that's excited, but... You know, when you fix a motorcycle that's been broken and you get it back and everything is straight and lined up and everything tightens down and moves the way it should, it's exciting. Well, so anyway, if you've watched up until this point, thank you so much. So I'm going to get on and talk all these things down, tighten everything up and uh, getting it off the jack, uh, lowered and... Uh, change the oil change the filter change the air filter and uh, do all of that good stuff so onwards <laughs>